start with Daphna. Okay. Uh, okay, so we, we left off by the two dots, so we're almost behind, so we'll try and catch it up tonight. So here we get into tough tough financial tough financial chishbainus here in this uh in this next plot uh, yeah plot yes. so, so the Mishnah had said a case really we should go back to the Mishnah and see but uh, the Mishnah had said a case that a guy bought bought grain for a dinner which was the regular that and it was at a set price meaning there was a they had already set the. It seems like back then they set the market price for uh, you know once once they realized how much how good the vegetables were or whatever whatever the quality was they set a they set a market price. So this guy had given a dinner, which is a dinner. Uh, yeah. So he gave a dinner for for uh, a quarter of of wheat or grain, and the guy couldn't. Uh, and then, uh, then he decided he want instead of the grain, he owed him the grain, but then the price went up a little bit. So he said, you know, I want the grain, but I want the grain in order to, in order to uh, buy wine. So the Mishnah says that you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. He's not allowed to tell him that he's going to get the, the he's going to give him wine. Can you shut the window, please? Um, all right, so you can't say, that you can't replace the wine because it looks like it was ribbis the rabbana. So I'm going to go through exactly what that case is. So the two dots on Dama uh, Pez on the base. So the Gemara says, he ain't lo in my hobby. So it's saying if he doesn't have the wine, so he can't tell him when. I think I skipped that part. When he when he doesn't have the wine, he can't tell him. Okay, so whenever I get the wine, you'll you'll get the wine worth thirty dinar, which which is five dinar more. Then he paid. If he doesn't have wine, what's the big deal? You're not allowed to give money. You're not allowed to make a, a, a an advanced payment for payers until the shah, until the price, until they give out the price. If the once the price, once they come out and they announce what the price is, then you're allowed to make a deal. Why? Because if this guy doesn't have the fruits, and this other guy will have the fruits, this is basically the practical application of this is a not a down payment. What do you like an early bird special? All right. This would be the this is where the whole sugi comes in. It's a very it's a very common it's a very common shy where per, people give you an early bird special. Meaning, if you pay now, if you pay in advance, they will lower the price for you essentially happening when you do that right when you do that so essentially you're giving them money let's say i'm buying a, a car and the guy says the car is coming out in three months from now so you could either pay for the car in three months or now but if you pay for it you give me half the money now so then i'll drop the price by let's say a thousand dollars so essentially what you do you lent him money right you're lending him money and and because he's not doing, and then in Mamela, what are you getting back in exchange? A thousand dollars off your car. So basically, you just lent the ribis, right? So that's uh, so that's that that's a set. I mean, that's a modern version of what's going on over here. So the Brisa says that there. Well, we're gonna we're gonna say in the Gemara two things, right? The Brisa says that there's this Brisa says that what you're allowed to do a prepayment plan. If the prices are already set for how much it is, so let's say we're talking about grain, so let's say it's going to be a dollar a pound for grain. So you're allowed to prepay right now for a dollar for grain, and the guy will pay it to you. We'll pay it to you later. But that's as long as the price is already is already set. Right. So that's what the price is set. So if the price is already set, then you're allowed to do this. So how come when this guy ordered grain from from this fellow? And then the price went up, and then he said, "You know what? Really, I want wine. So why are we saying that he can't do it? Right? If it's a set price, then it's fine." So I'm a rabba. I'm a rabba. I'm sorry, mustisin, but ba lochu b'demei naskinon. The 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 price the Mishnah is talking about where there was it was a debt first. It wasn't just a, a straight sale. 
right? Meaning he owed him. He, the one, let's see, let's see. The Tanya, let's see how the Brisa says it. Haresha hayad noisha bechaveri mana. Let's say a guy um, was owed from his friend a mana. The whole of mana al al garna, and he went, and he was standing by the garden by the threshing place. Bamar ten li mosi. Shani writes a li kach mehem kitim. Right, a guy, a guy owes money. Ruvain owes a hundred dollars to Shimon. Shimon comes to Ruvain's um, uh, silo or whatever to to his place that he gathers the grain, and he says to him, "Okay, I want I want my hundred dollars worth because I want to be able to buy grain." Amr Aloi. So the his, the guy who the Baal Choyv Ruvain says to him, "Shine nice enough. I'll just give you." Save us all like Go and take the money that I owe you and figure out how much it's worth, how much grain it's worth. And I'll pay it out to you. I'll pay it out to you over the next 12 months. So that's usr. That's not allowed. The lavki sure habaliyodidami. Is sure here doesn't mean isr. That just throws in a little more confusion. Uh, it gives you think it's not an isr that comes as in. Isr here means a coin. It's not allowed the lavki surya bolayadi domi. That is not like an iser that came into his hand, right? Because what's going on here? The guy who's selling is not being paid money, right? So since he's not paying, being paid money, um, therefore it looks like rivis. So that's what went on over here too. The fellow was owed money. He didn't. the The guy who owed him money didn't have the money to pay. So he said, "Here's the grain." Right. So once he said, "Here's the grain," and then then that's yeah, that's considered like an advance payment, and it was and since no money changed hands, so then it's not it's not a uh, it's not allowed. Fine. So that's basically the way the way Rabbah says it. Amalei Abaya. So Abaya said to him, like If it's not like money changed hands, right? Meaning because the guy's not actually getting paid. Meaning again, if if the guy gets paid with money, so then it looks like a purchase. So we're not worried about ribis, even if the price went up. But if he doesn't get paid, so then it looks like if he doesn't pay cash, then it looks like ribis. So my area ain't loy. So then what does that have to do with whether he doesn't have a filu yesh nami? Even if he does have wine, I right, was talking about in our Mishnah. The guy didn't have the grain and he didn't have the wine. He says, okay, I'll, and for my debt, I'll pay you the wine eventually, right? So if the whole problem is, is that money didn't change hands, so then who cares whether he has the wine or he doesn't have the wine? Even if he has the wine, it's going to look like Rivas, right? Again, because what happened? He owed him money. To the wine seller, he, he, was, he owed money. He didn't have it. So the guy gave him the wine instead. So then what? Right? So it looks like, we're saying it looks like Rivas. So what's the difference or not. Then Abaya has even a more intricate way of explaining the Mishnah. El Amar Abaya, must need some good funding of Safra, but Rivis is the Beit of Chia. The Mishnah is talking about a case of Rivis that was by, uh, by that Rav Safra taught from Rav Chia. The Tani Rav Safra, but Rivis is the Beit of Chia. Rav Safra taught about the Rivis of Rav Chia. Yesh Tvarm Shem Mutarim. There are some things that are really mutter. Basurum ne haromas ribis, and they're also because they look like ribis. Case of what's the case? Amrlai halveni mana. If a guy tells his friend, lend me a mana. Amrlai says to him, mana ainly, chitim kama, chitim be mana yeshli. Says to him, asa, but I don't have cash, but I have grain. I'll give you grain. Right? Dani no isin lach, and all that I'll give you. Meaning he'll lend him the, the equivalent of the money that he needs, but in grain. Nasan le chitim be mana. So he gave him. The chitim worth a mana. Yeah. So then, because of a look on him and as the barber seller, and then the guy who lent him the grain went and bought it off of him for twenty four seller. I don't know if anybody. Uh, um, I don't. What what happened? The guy said he didn't have money. I mean, essentially, what happened here was. Uh, essentially, what happened was is that he tells him, I need money to borrow. The guy tells him, I don't have money, I have grain. Right? 
So he, so then he says to him, okay, so give me the grain. He says now, okay, now that I now that you have the grain worth twenty five di- uh, twenty five dinar, so now I'm the guy bought it off of him for twenty four dinar. Where did he get the money from? I thought he didn't have money, right? I thought he right. Didn't we, didn't we just the guy say he didn't have money. Okay, I don't know if that's about Levatich or Kasha or not, but. Uh, but okay, I'm just not sure how it went down. But the point is, is that the guy didn't have money, so essentially he gave him grain, he lent him grain, and then he bought the grain off of him for a little less than the grain was worth. Mutter. So then this thing is mutter. Also, last is came and haromas rivers, and it's also to do this because of the haroma of rivers, right? Um. So now, so is that Ohanami, true? Is that only true if the if he pays him back in money, or is that true also if he pays him back in wheat? What do you mean? Meaning, the the guy really borrowed twenty five a month worth of wheat. If he pays him back a month worth of wheat, then why is that? Why would that? What, what's the rumor here? No, what happened was is that he. He lent him 25 dinar of wheat, right? Right. Then the guy went and bought. It doesn't really make a difference who bought it from him, but then the guy went and bought a, or sold that 25 dinars worth for 24, 24 dinar. Now he's going to pay it back. But my guy. question is, does it matter how he pays it back in regards to whether it's considered a Ramos River or not? If he pays it back in money, I can understand because it looks like he lent him 24 and he gave him back 25. Right. What do you mean? Does it I mean if he pays it back he in a different way? Let's say he would pay it back in wheat. Let's say he pay it back a money of wheat. So he borrowed a money of wheat and he paid him back a money of wheat. No, I think that would be fine. I think. No? So the, what, when the Gemara says, but also lost, the Bryce says, but also lost him in there, Roman service, it doesn't speak out when. It just says it's also to do this. Well, it's only also to do this if you would actually pay it back in money. We didn't, it didn't speak that out, though. right? It doesn't fear us. What would be the case that would be us as last as Cain and they are on the strips? Um, correct. I, I don't know. You think I, I wish I understood it. I wish I understood the sugi enough to uh, to uh, to get this. You're saying that it won't only won't, it would only look like ribbis if. If he pays him the thing, if he pays him, well, if isn't that the whole him, borrowing eggs? If what's isn't that the same thing with the borrowing eggs from your neighbor? Oh, so the Gemara is going to discuss that on number base. No, but that's a different case. Here, the issue is he's going to give you twenty four. You're giving him twenty four dollars, and you're going to give him, back, and he's going to have to give you back twenty five to pay you back for the original borrowing of twenty five dollars worth of wheat. So, if he gives it back to you in money, I can understand that it looks like you gave him twenty four for the. To buy the wheat, but really, and he's giving you back twenty five, so it looks like ribbis. But if he gave you back twenty five, it doesn't even look like ribbis because if, if he gave you back actual wheat that's worth twenty five dollars, that's you know twenty five in, twenty five out of wheat. Right. Um, that doesn't look like ribbis at all. Yeah, I hear. Um, it's. I mean, it's talking about you can't. Eat. Uh, hold on one sec. It's talking about here. It's it's only Akiva. It's only Merci Caribbis, right? Right? Do you hear me? It's not even. Uh, it's a Haroma series, but again, I'm just trying to understand is that true in all cases? I agree. There are certain cases that will look like ribbis. My question is: Would we, getting wheat back look like ribbis? Would getting 
Um, Or just because if I gave you $24, anytime I give you $24 for a purchase, if you give me back $25 worth, that automatically looks like ribbons. That's what we're saying at this point. Correct. But it's again, it only looks like ribbons. I don't know if what you're saying, I'm saying is how you pay it back is going to change. Or is that true with even wheat? I would think it's everything. But I, I, but I, 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 I lent 25 and you gave me back 25. Why is that? What is, who cares about the 24 that was in between? You know, what happens if it would be somebody else? Definitely not a problem. No, I saw somewhere today that it said it doesn't make a difference if it's somebody else or not. How, Even if it's somebody some... else, it's a problem. But I, I'm now now I'm getting confused. Why would that be a problem? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see Vita. Anyways, so that's what he says is the case in the Mishnah. So okay, so the main so now let's see. Hochanami, so see here too, we're about uh we're about fifteen lines off from the bottom on Samach Bezim Abes for those that are getting on now. Hochanami could go into Omar Halveni Shloishim dinner. He said, Lend me thirty dinner. Omar Lay, he said back to him, Shloishim dinner ainly. I don't have thirty dinner. Khitin Bashloishim dinner yeshli. I have chitin worth thirty dinner that I have. Shani Nasin Loft that I'm gonna give to you. So he gave him chitim of 30 dinar. And then he went and he took them from him for a dinar zov. Right? That's the first part. Then he went back to him. This part's not in the Gemara. Then he, again, he said to him, lend me 30 dinar. He says, I don't have 30 dinar. He says, I have wheat worth 30 dinar. And I'll give it to you. I'll give you the wheat. But worth thirty dinner, and then he went yeah. back, and then he bought it back from him for mm -hmm. for a dinar zav. So he is like chamra, right? Then the what's and then the Mishnah says in this part that's what the Mishnah picks up. He says, "Give me back the thirty dinner," and he says, um, "I'll give you wine. I don't have the wheat, but he doesn't have wine either." The mamela, the whole thing is is pushed down the kicking the can down the road, as we say. So the Mishnah says you can't do that. Why? He is like chamra leloive. If the borrower has wine, the Yavle Bishlaisham dinner, and then he's willing to give him wine worth 30 dinner, Peru the Kashakamina Mine. So then basically he took Paris from him, the less Lanva, and that's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. That's meaning if he has um if he has the wine, so essentially he's taking back wine instead of money, fine. Be lie, but if he doesn't keep it the Leslie Khamra, since he doesn't have wine, Vadai, Mishkal, Zuzi, Mine. Right? Then he's definitely going to take money from him. Merci Karibis. And that looks like ribis. Meaning if he doesn't have the wine, what's going to happen? He's going to have to give him, he's going to give him money. How much money? 30 dinner. But that's five dinner more than he borrowed. So Mamela, it's gonna it's gonna be ribis. Right, so that's, I mean, that's a complicated way of saying Pshat in our Mishnah. If he says, to, if, if, if that's what's going on in the Mishnah, then he never said to him, give me wheat. He's saying, give me the worth of wheat. So Gemara says, Tani Demechiti. So Abai is saying, okay, so learn learn the Mishnah Demechiti, which again, we've had this problem many times. As Abaya, is he changing the Lushan of the Mishnah? Right? Is he changing the lesson of the Mishnah? Right? So I don't know. I'm not sure. Then the Gemara says, okay, but then it says, Shani Moichron. It says, and I'm selling to you. It doesn't, it's not Shani Moichron. Right? That I already sold you. Right? Meaning it's not that it, that it will be sold. So Gemara says, Tani Shemachartim Lach. So learn that too. Then the Gemara has a third kasha. It says the, the wheat is going to be on me for 30 dinner. Right? But that's the way it was from the beginning, meaning according to the way Abai is understanding it, this whole deal started with 30 dinner. That's that that's how the deal started. So the Gemara says, This is what he was saying to him. 
for the Deme that I that I have on you for 30 dinner, it'll be on me wine. And I don't have wine. Okay, so the woman says, But he said to him, it's one dinar, right? Which was the chen ashar. Ashar means that was the price, right? And meaning which is 25 dinar. So according to the way the Mishnah seems to say it, it was 20, it was, it was, uh, it was 25 dinner, but here we're going with that as 30. And what answers, Elam what Rabba says, Kisha Chivna Rab Aishia. So now we have a third pshat now. We had Rabba's pshat, we had Abaya's pshat, which the Gemara asked five kashas on. Finally, the fifth kasha got, got Rabba to change his mind. Kisha Chivna Rab Aishia, Nafak Levasi, when, when Rab Aishia, um, um, Kishachivna, I'm sorry. When I die, right? This is Rabba saying, Rav Aishia, um, Nafik Lavasi, Rav Aishia will come to be Malavami. And now we start today's Dafta, but Tarasam Asis and Kavasei, because we have this issue with the price that it's not like our Mishnah, but here it is. I'm going to Rav Aishia, was the one who Rav Aishia with Rav Chia is the one that, that, uh, that did all the, what do you call it? The uh, prices. So when you have a price against the Mishnah, so Rava said, Rava tried to be metar, it's all of them. So he says, because of that, Rav Aishi is going to come out to me. And when I'm, when I, when, when I'm Nifter, he says, hey, Rav Aishi is going to come out and greet me because I helped him out. Yeah. So the Tani Rabbi Aishia, Harei Shehoyin Naisha B'chevere Manu, because we have a price, as Rabbi Aishia said, if somebody owes, if somebody wants, Naisha really means he's coming to collect a debt. Right? So Harei Shehoyin Naisha B'chevere Manu, if a guy is coming to collect a debt of a hundred, V'halach V'amad Al Garno, and he goes and he steps, and he stands by his, his gairin, by his silo or his threshing floor, V'amad Tenli Me'usi Shani Roi Tzalika Fen Chitin, says, give me my money, I need money to buy wheat. The guy who owes him says to him, I have wheat that I'm going to give to you. Go out and tell me how much, what's the going price, and I'll give you wheat. I'll give you wheat, whatever the equivalent of that money is. Then when it came time to sell the wheat, right, which means with what Rashi says that the price went up, Right? I mean, again, they made a deal, let's say, uh, a month ago, that he's going to give him for whatever the set price was. But in that, during that month, the price went up. Amalais, he said to him, Ten lichitin, give me my wheat. Shani writes lamachim likach ben yain, because now I want to buy wine with it. Amalai, yesh li yain, shani noisalach, I have wine. Save us on a like a The same story happened. The same story happened to wheat, happened with the wine. He says, go out. Figure out how much wine is worth, and I'll give it to you. Higiyah's man, right? Meaning he says, I'm going to give it to you whatever the wine is worth right now. Higiyah's man, yayin limkar. Then it came time to sell the wine. So the guy told him, give me my wine that I that I made up. I'm going to take for the debt. Shani writes a lamaycha, because I want to sell the wine, and I want to buy oil. Amalai, Shem and Yeshli. I have oil, Shani Nasanlah. This this guy sounds like a real handler, let me tell you. I got it all. I got all you want. Mata Sharate, Mata Sharate. You know, I got it all, right? Yeah, so so I got oil too. Seva so I like Shashalasha. Just figure out what the price is. Kulam im Yeshloi Mutter. So in in these cases, if Hitaka has the wheat and the oil and the wine first and then the oil. When they made this deal, so then it's mutter. Because like we said, you're allowed to do advanced pricing if the guy actually has it. Ain't loy, but if he doesn't have it, then it's also. Right? So, and then, okay, so my lokach, so what does it mean, the lokach in the Mishnah? He's lokach ba'avase. It doesn't mean he was buying it, because in the Mishnah, it sounds like he originally wanted to buy it. That's not what it's saying. It's saying here that he lokach too as a halva. Yeah? So again, so this is um, Rava is saying that this is the pshat in our Mishnah. Okay, the main thing we have to know from this din, from this Gemara, 
there, there's two things. Using our case of a car, right? If the guy wants to pay for a car and he says, give me the money now, even though we're going to take delivery in a month from now, that only works if the guy has the car in stock. That's basically what this Gemara is saying. If the guy has the car in stock, then you could do a prepayment. It's not considered it's not considered a ribis thing. As long as the guy has it in stock. If he doesn't have it in stock, then it's then it looks like ribis. Right? That's the main thing. This is Nagay Lamais. This is what we paskin. This is what we paskin. If you if somebody says like, you know, prepay matzah, right? Or now, now after Pesach, he says, you know, if you pay now, if you pay me now for an esrig, I'll knock you off 20%. Well, he doesn't have the esrig. So that's ribis. But if the guy has the esrig, let's say an L, he says, I have the esrig, they're in my warehouse. You prepay for me now, then it's fine. Then it's okay. And the reason for that is, is because since the guy has the esrigim, so even if he can't meet the price or something, he can always sell the esrig and pay back with the money. Right? And does this apply so, to schools or camps for tuition? Oh, oh, very good. So I, I, I would love to say that I, I started looking into it on Yom Tif. I didn't get how we, how this halacha translates, because that's the number one thing, right, David? Camps. Well, camps. the way Rashi, the way Rashi, yeah. and Mashra, it's only because it's Yeshle. Camps are not something that's Yeshle. So how do you? Maybe it does. Maybe it is Yeshle. I, I just, that's what I'm saying. What I don't does understand. that mean? All these cases have to be Yeshle. Camps are not Yeshle. It's Davrishle Belalim. It's a service. You have to provide it later. How could you say it's Yeshle? Because he has the camp. You don't have the service. You didn't provide the service yet. You're not have any money when you didn't provide the service yet. It's all Davrishle Belalim. It's aim like. But the service you have provided is the manuva sanefesh of knowing your kids. That's not in. a service. When we're talking about being kind, I, of I disagree. As a parent, that's quite a service. No, okay, I agree. So you provide I agree a service. The no, service is no not there. You're paying five bucks for that. There's no product. Correct. There's no product. So then it's ain't like. Then we just discussed. Ain't like doesn't work. Well, no, take it. Esrig, yeah. we said esrig is not a product until sukkus. It's a lemon until sukkus. You don't buy an no, esrig. That means when you buy it, then you buy it. Shine. What does that have to do with anything? He has the camp. He has the beds. He has the refrigerator. He has the the the. the yeah, but maybe the guy the service. Gym. You're not paying for a bed. You're paying for a service. You're paying to go to the camp. The campground. That's called has. a service in in, in 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 financial terms. You're paying for a service. You're not paying for a bed. You're not buying a physical bed. You're buying um, a space in the camp. That's called a service. Yes. And the so service you only is have not provided. The yet. beds. And when you pay ahead of time, that's okay. called prepaying. It's a liability on the person on the person that's providing the service. He didn't he didn't give you anything yet. He's borrowing money from you effectively if you pay him ahead of time. Um, I don't know. I was I I, I sort of leaned towards what Akiva's saying. Right. That I mean, it's not. Uh, uh, just, just to there get was a whole article, article yeah, this, this past week paper. about a guy who had a COVID but right before Pesach program, right before COVID hit. And he basically got all the payment from everybody. There's a whole Shiloh, whether he had to give it back or not. By what? COVID shut it down. Pesach programs. Yeah, oh, Pesach. Pesach. Oh, that's another one. That Taka, that's another one that, that this happens, right? You prepay. Right? You prepay, and then is that really? It's not really. I hear. I'm not sure. Anybody see anything about this? But again, there's nothing uh, to do with our case of Tiapo. If you took, if you took a loan, and you want to buy something with a loan, the the the, the clearly says, or the the Brisa of Aishia says at least that it has to be Yeshua in his hands. And Rashi says because of a dinner Mishapara. Otherwise, we would never have a Hava meaning that 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 type of Kenyan would work. It would be a it would be a Maxi Karibis. Right, I hear that. It's only because I, it's Yeshle that there's a, even a tzad that, that a, a halva, which is a huge chiddish, can go ahead and create a mishapar. Right. Mask him. I hear. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I, I tried to look into it a lot. I didn't see it discussed. It's got to be discussed somewhere. Right. I have the Ribbis book from Rabbi Reisman. That's the Bible. That's the Bible on this. But okay, I believe now that I'll check later. If I come up with anything, but anyways, but that that's the practical application of 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 this stuff. All these prepayments and how does it work? 
But Deanna, yeah. the only have a meal of Gabi I'm a pesa for I can think about is he cannot buy food for you unless he gets p- paid up ahead of time. So it can almost be like he's buying you food ahead of time. That's the only half I mean I would have is that he's actually laying out money for you for your food, which is why you'd be able to keep some of that money. Um correct. I, I yeah, I don't know. I know. I don't know. It's okay. So let's see a little vital. Maybe you'll get a little clear. Maybe it won't. I don't know. So Amarava Shmami no Midurav Aishi Yatlas. So from Abaisi is din. We could learn out three things. Mami no the Mamidin Malva Gabi Paris. First one is that the Malva you can take a loan and uh, how do you call it when you uh you convert it into fruit. And we don't say that it's not like where the, the Isser, meaning the, the money called an Isser, comes into his hand. Right, because here clearly he's saying you can you can say you can take the debt and transfer it into you take the money debt and transfer it into into fruit. Belayam Rina, which we said differently like that on uh, the blot ago. This thing only works when he has it, right? and. We hear from this that what Rabbi, what Rabbi Yanai says, which is Dama Rabbi Yanai, Mali Hain, Mali Demeyan. Rabbi Yanai says, what's the difference between him, them and what's the difference between his his uh, his money? Hold on one sec. Okay. Okay. Sorry, right, I'm pulled over on the side of the road doing it. Uh, I got to... <laughs> I got it. Just got me making me move. Um, meaning the last one is, is that it doesn't make a difference whether he wants money, or he wants, or he wants. Uh, how do you call it? Product, I guess. Let's call it that. Product. Right, because here, basically, what he's saying is that you have this loan of money, and instead of money, he's saying you could take wine, you could take oil, you could take whatever it is that you want to take. Right. Okay, so then, so those are the three things that we learn out from, from uh, Rav Aishia. Hold on. Fine. Did my Rav Amar Aisin Amana with Peters? Because Rav says you're allowed to make an Amana with Peters. So what's an Amana? Um, which is uh, Amana is this this contract that we that we're talking about. Right, we're talking about giving, paying, uh, prepaying. That's what we call it, prepaying. Paying no sin amon of a dumb. And we say you don't, you don't, um, and you can't do it with money. Meaning, basically, you could say, I'm going to prepay you. I'm going to pay you now. And then whatever the price is right now for the fruit, let's say, or the grain, that's what you're going to give me. But you can't do it and say, well, if you, and if you can't give me the grain, then you're going to have to give me back money. Because then, then that looks like ribis, because you may have to pay him back more money if the price goes up. Right? Rabbi Yanni disagrees. He says, no, what's the difference? If you're allowing a guy to do a prepayment, then you do a prepayment and finish. Fine. So then the Gemara asks, kulam in It says, in all these cases, right? we had said in the case on the top of the Amit, if he has the wheat, Again, some other guy who says, "Oh, I have wheat. I don't have wheat, but I have oil. You want? Oh, oh, you want wine? I have it all, right? So if he has it, then it's mutter. Mashma. You see that you the original debt was money, and then the debt after that was was wheat, then wine, then oil. Now that was talking about where he did mashich on it." He did Mashiach on it, so that means he was already kind of, meaning when the guy gave him advanced, when he came to him and said to him, I guess, this, I don't know how this would work with the day camps, but he basically said to him, if you prepay me for the fruit, for the esrug, let's say, you prepay me, pay some time for the esrug, and then he took the esrug, was kind of, then he gave it back to him and said, I'll come back and collect it for you. 
then the Gemara says, well, that's Pashat. Even Shemashach, Tzrich Lamehmer, do you need to say that that's Mutter? Of course that's Mutter. What, what, it doesn't look like Ribis. You bought, you bought the Asrik for whatever reason, you're giving it back to him. It's talking about where he didn't do Mashiach, but he gave him a corner of the room and he said to him, that's where it's going. That's where your Asrik is going to sit. Right? And Mamela, then it's not, uh, in that case, it's not Ribis. Right, or it doesn't look like ribs. Shmuel Amar and Shmuel says, "Amani Reb Yehudi, this is this is this price is Reb Yehudi." The Amar Tzad Echad Beribis Mutter. Now we have a new wrinkle in ribs. Tzad Echad Beribis is Mutter, meaning if rib, ribis is on one side and it's Mutter, which basically I don't know why the Gemara says it like that. Tzad Echad Beribis. Basically, what it's saying, if it's not guaranteed ribis, then it's not a problem. Meaning. If it's sort of like on a tnai, that it's possible there'll be ribis, but it's possible there won't be ribis. So then, according to Rabbi Yehuda, that's okay. Right? The Tanya, what's the case? If a guy is owed a mana by someone, and what the guy did is that the, the borrower said, here's a field. Right? Here's a field. And if I don't pay you back, sort of like a mashkin, here's a field, and if I don't pay you back by a certain date, you can keep the field. So then the question is, who's eating the fruits of the field? So, when the moicher, meaning the, the borrower, is eating the peris, so then it's mutter, because it doesn't look like ribis. Right? He, he told him, here's this field, it's going to go to you if I don't pay you back. But in the interim, during the loan, the borrower is eating the fruit. So there's no ribis. Like Keach Eichel Peres, but if the guy who lent the money, he's called, we're calling him here, here the own, the buyer, right? Because he potentially will end up with the field if the guy doesn't pay back. The Lekeach Eichel Peres also, but if the Lekeach eats the Peres, then it is also, right? Because let's say the guy Taka doesn't pay back, doesn't pay him back. So then the lender is going to get the field for the loan. Plus, he's got he got to eat all the fruit. That's ribis, right? But it's ribis. But we don't know if it's going to be ribis when the guy is eating the fruit. We have no idea if it's going to be ribis. If if he doesn't pay him back, then it's going to be ribis. If he does pay him back, then it's not ribis, right? Um, even when the lekeach eats the peris. I'm sorry, the Tanakama doesn't hold it. He says it's Osir because either way, either way, the guy's eating the fruit. But Rehuda says, Even when he eats the Paris, it's Mutter. Right? And Amalei Rehuda, there was a story with Bitus Ben Zun, that he did this thing and he made his field into a sale if he doesn't pay back the loan. Up here, Rehuda and Azariah, Rehuda and Azariah told him to do this, and the Lekeach, was eating the Paris. So Amrulai, so they told him, Isham Raya, from there is a Raya. Moicher Eichel Paris, Hayyab Eloi Lekeach. Right? The Moicher is the one that that ate the Paris, not the Lekeach. I mean, he said your information was wrong. The reason why Rabbi Lozman Azariah allowed it was because the, the borrower is the one that ate the Paris, not the lender. But my Benayu, What's the difference? Meaning, what's the pshan and the machloik is between them? Amar Abaya tzad echad beribis ikaminayo. What we just said, when there's one tzad of ribis is the difference. Meaning, when it's but it's 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 possible that there won't be ribis. That's the machloikus. Rava Amar ribis amanas la. Okay, so meaning meaning the Tanakama holds that as long as there's a possibility of ribis, then it's going to be a problem. Rabbi Yehuda holds no. If there's, it has to be one hundred percent. Ribis in order to be a problem. If it's only a possibility, then it's not ribis. Rav Amar Rav says a different shot. Ribis amanas lahachser ikav benayu. This is talking about ribis that, on the condition that it'll be given back, is the difference. Right? Meaning, according to the way Rav is understanding Rabbi Yehuda, right? The guy can eat the paris, but if the loan gets paid back, he's going to have to give back all the paris. Right? And so the question is. Is in that in that temporary in that temporary time is that considered ribis? Meaning, again, 
Ruvain lent money to Shimon. Shimon says, I, I'm giving you my field at a, in a month from now. If I don't pay it back, you're going to keep my field. Right? And then he's eating the payrus. He's eating the he's eating the payrus. So so meaning the the guy who lent the money is eating the payrus. But if the field gets paid back, he's gonna to have to pay back all the payrus. So now it really depends. If he really if he doesn't get paid back, so then, and he gets the payrus and he gets to keep the field, then it's mamish, that's mamish ribis. Right? But it's ribis, it's ribis on condition. So since it's ribis on condition, um Rav Yehuda says it's uh it's uh, not a problem. Fine, so Omar Rava. So Rava said, Ashtad Omar Rav Yanai. Now that Rav Yanai said, Antam Abeis now. Mali hain Mali Demeyan Amrinon. So Rav Yanai had said, What's the difference? Meaning, we're talking about when a pre buy. Rav Yanai had said that by a prepayment, meaning if I go to a guy and I say to him that he is going to, he is going to, uh, to, uh, um, how do you say it? I'm going to prepay for some fruit, right? And he prepays for the fruit. And then he, he, and then at the end, when he doesn't have the fruit, he says, okay, I'll replace it with money. So he says that that's okay. So then when he initially does it, why can't, when he initially makes this deal, why can't he do that also with what's the difference whether he does it with fruit or whether he does it with money, right? Mali demand, Mali, Mali, hey, Nami, Amrina. What's the difference? What's the difference? It's money or fruit. You can say the same thing. And and you're gonna make the you're gonna make the psak, meaning you're gonna make the deal based on how much it was worth in the shuk. Even though the seller doesn't have any money. So basically what the Gemara I mean not money, he doesn't have the fruit or he doesn't have he doesn't have the grain, whatever it is. So basically what it's saying, and this is a different we said on Ahmad Allah, he said is Yeshloi, if he has the fruit. Right, like using our case with the with the esrug. If he has the esrug, you can prepay. Now we're saying another thing. If there's a set price for the esrugim, then you could also prepay. Right. So those are the two requirements. Or I think it's and or, not it's and one or the other. And then you can then you could prepay. So so again, those are the two main dinim. If there's a set price, and if it's uh and if it's and or 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 if the guy has it. So now Akiva. So now what about the day camps? What I, if it's let's say there was a set price for the day camp, then you would be able to give a, a discount. Meaning, I don't think that's the case because different day camps charge different amount of money. But let's say it was a set price from the government. This is how much you pay for a day camp. Then they come out and they say, okay, if you prepay three months in advance, so we'll give you a hundred dollars off, which just happens all the time. So do we consider that? Isn't that standard? This uh, uh, that's true, and like a lot of vendors, vendors will give you. Let's say you prepay or you pay, uh, net net whatever net a uh, uh, thirty days, you get ten percent off. That's standard operating procedure for sales. Right. So the question is, but it has to fit into the halachas of of. It, uh, that's in the Goyish world. Does that mean there's not ribbons? I mean, the Yiddish world does it too. What do you mean? A lot of our vendors have it on their invoices. We ignore it. Correct. We ignore it and don't pay. That's it. just because you but can't afford to pay it. I'm saying, but like it's a fish. Yeah, and that's uh, you pay it in ten days. You can afford it, guns good. Don't tell the retailers can't afford it. They can afford it, guns good. Most re- <laughs> most retailers are highers, and they don't pay their bills. Okay. Oh, that's that's what they. That is what the. That's what yeah. it is out there. Yeah, yeah. That's what in they all, say. In all in all industries, retailers don't pay their bills. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know how it would work. The pre, I'm still trying to work out with the day camps and all that. Okay, so Aceve, so going to ask three lines down in the um Samach Gimel Vei. So Aceve, Rav Papa, Rav Huna, Brei, Rav Yishul, Rav Pulam, and Yesh Leimutu. So we said again, going back to that case where the guy first was supposed to give him um uh, wheat, then wine, then oil. Right. So Kulam, and Yesh Leimutur, and Ein Loy Oser. So if he has its mutter, and if he doesn't have then it's also. So it sounds like, um, why is it also? As long as there's a set price, you do whatever you want. We had said it only if he has, meaning we said yesh loy. It's mashur in the price, so only if a yesh loy. If, but if ain loy, meaning if he doesn't have the product, and even if there's a set price. So I'm like, oh, hasam halva, there by Rav Aishi, that's talking about a loan. So since there's no money, there's no money changing hands, so therefore, 
Um, therefore, it's more mekel. Hachazvini, here we're talking about, talking about where, there was, where he was selling it to him, right? Meaning when it's a loan, then you don't need, then it then it's not going to help to have a set price. When it's a purchase, then it does have that does then it does help to have a set price. Meaning, I guess if the set if the car has a set price finished, there's no negotiations. There's no the way it should be. Why it's not like that? Because I have no idea. Uh, plane tickets and cars, a But let's say it was a set price. Everybody gets it the same price, and it was a purchase, right? Then then it would work. Right. That's 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 again. So it, again, it makes a difference if it ends up being a loan or a purchase. Um fine. Ra Ra Rabba of Rabbi Yasu Dhamma Tava, my time Umru Rabana on Paiskan al Shah Shibashuk. How can the Rabbanan said that you're allowed to pay in advance, you're allowed to prepay based on the set price in the shuk, even though he doesn't have it? The Amrale Kila Tivusa Peshadya Khizri. So now we get into Mamash like a practical thing. He says, take your taiva. And throw it onto the thorn bushes. Meaning, what type are you doing to me? Maya Hannes Lee, what are you helping me? So the price went up. Right? Meaning, you were supposed to, I prepaid for wheat. And I was supposed to pay, I don't know, $10 a pound. Now the price went up to $15 a pound. Right? So, so And now you're giving me the wheat. What does it help me? Right? If I would have had money, if I would have had my own money, I would have bought in Hini, Hini, Shili, those are those are towns, right? I would have bought it way back when, a month ago. I would have bought the weed a month ago, and then uh, then I would have it, right? So what are you doing? You're giving me you're giving me extra. You're giving me the wheat now that it's worth more. Who cares? I would have had this wheat without you. What kind of ribbus is there? Meaning, what kind of gain am I getting because I prepaid you? I'm not gaining anything. I could have had that wheat all on my own. If that's true, so again, going back to our case of Sabasa, right? We know that you're not allowed to you're not allowed to lend your neighbor a dozen eggs and get paid back a dozen eggs. This is the Rabbanon because it could be the eggs price fluctuated in the interim. So the Gemara is saying, well, according to this rationale, why can't you do Sabasa? In the Matzah Yomale, right? Because then what can the lender tell the guy? What happens? He lends the guy the eggs and the guy says, I'm sorry, egg prices went up. I can't pay you back, right? Take your taiva and put it onto the thorn bushes. Because the lender could say, I would, there's a different, different, uh, shot in here. What it's, uh, meaning Rashi says it's either it could have burnt or it could have uh, got rotten, gotten rotten, right? Um, meaning he was basically saying, do I think that my stuff would have gotten ruined without me lending it to you? Right? Meaning, it doesn't help me that the price of flour went up after I lent it to you or the price of eggs went up after I lent it to you and now you're giving back. What does it help? If I would have had my stuff sitting in the in my garage, the price would have went up then too. Meaning, what kind of ribbis is there? So why? Meaning, if you and if you could say this rationale, so then there should be no iser of sub is sub. Meaning, if you're saying that, that the only way Ribis works, the only way Ribis is a problem, is if the lender actually gains money from it. So then what do you have here? Right? The guy didn't, the guy is saying he doesn't gain anything. Gemara says, Amalei, Hossam again, Halva. There, Basa, that's a loan. Ochazvini, here it's a sale. So by a sale, because there's money changing hands, um, then it's less, it's less strict. It's very nice that the guy could say, you know, I could have bought for cheaper instead of prepaying for you and getting it at a later date. I could have bought it for cheaper and made my own money. But yeah, but you would have to pay the agent. Don't you have to pay an agent's fee? And now he saved. He saved that agent's fee. So why shouldn't that agent's fee be ribbis? And again, he's telling him, you know, because the price went up, so you're giving it to me, it's ribbis. And he told him, well, it's not ribbis because I would have bought the stuff cheaper myself a few months ago instead of prepaying you, right? But he still would have saved, he still saved money by doing it this way because he would have had to pay uh, an agent to hook him up to buy these, to buy whatever it is. So Gemara says, Amalei, the Koyav, Nami, and Hanami, he does. He would have to, he would have to give him back 
the amount of money that would cost for for uh, an agent. Ravashi Yomar, Zuzi Dinchi, Inu Avdi Safsi Ruse. The money that a person has will take care of it. Meaning, if you have enough money, then the agent is going to be so happy to to give you the deal. He's not even going to charge you. He's not going to charge you a, a, a fee. Right? Because they're happy. I don't know how they're going to make their money. Um, I guess just by doing business. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Fine. So that's the harder. That's the harder part. Let's do a little bit more. So Rabbi Rav Yosef Dami Tevayim Hayman Diyav Zuzi Atara Kharifa. So this guy that gave money for early prices. So the way it works, because we we just finished, uh, we didn't just finish, but Mishnah is paya. You have to give out. You have to give out. Uh, how do you call it? You give out um, the Tzadaniyim. You give out Peya or whatever it is, Matnas Aniyim. Tzadaniyim can go take it and they could flip it. But it's way before anybody else gets the gets the grain. So Mamele Aniyim, you end up selling it, but for a cheap price. So this guy who gave money to uh, to the Aniyim, the Aniyim to go to buy their stuff, in order, if, in order for him to finalize the deal, he has to go to the Beidari, to the threshing floor, to confirm that he's actually going to get it for that price. The Gemara says, Lamai, why do you have to go there for? If you're going to say it's to be kind of halaykani, right? But that's just just showing up by a granary. You're not being kind of and if the reason why he's showing up is because if the guy backs out of the deal, because again, he's getting it for cheaper because he's getting it from Naniyam. So if the guy backs out of the deal, he should get a Mishapara, right? We said Mishapara means that whoever took the same Hashem that took punishment from the Mitzrayim and from the Benin, from the Mabal and all that will take punishment from a guy who doesn't keep his word. So when he doesn't, even when he doesn't show up there, he's going to get a Mishapara. Right, so what's the point in him showing up? The Gemara answers, "Loyelam lekabule le mishapara." Really, it's to be makabel on him and mishapara. Uman diyav zuzi atar charifa, and the guy that's giving that gives that's giving money prepaying, but to the aniim the pay tray tlosa yavi. Really, what normally happens is he goes around and he puts out bids or offers to two or three farmers. He mischazile. Right, so if but if he shows up to one of the farmers, some chadaite, then the guy is saimachdas. That farmer saimachdas. Oh, he showed up to me. I know they put out feelers to different farmers. He showed up to me. He's saimachdas. He lie, but if he doesn't show up, amale. So the farmer says, "No, I mean it. Ashke peri the shpirim mididi v'shakal v'shakal. You found peris that are better than mine, and you took it. Meaning the farmer says to him, "I know you go around putting out feelers to different farmers, so you just did it." And I know you might just ditch me. So since I didn't see you again, so I'm like, oh, I thought you ditched me. But if he shows up there, then that's then he would he would be chayav mishapara because by him showing up shows that he meant it serious. Sorry, now so now like this part I don't understand either. Amar Ravashi, I don't know what part I do understand. This part I don't understand. Amar Ravashi, Hashad Amar Mishum Masamach Taiti. Now that we're saying that the reason why he shows up is because he's Saimach Das, Afilu Ashkechei Peshuka, even if he finds him in the, he stam finds a guy in the street, and he says to him, you know, I want to buy something from you, Sam Chadaiti, then that person is Saimach Das, and he's a get to Mishapara. Meaning, so if you're on your way, face to, the, the Eswick store, and you meet an Eswick seller, you say, I'm on the way to your store to buy it from you. And then you back out, so then you, it's a Yitzchai of Mishapar, which I don't understand, because in the first one, he gave money, I think, by the farmers, he gave money. So he gave money and he showed up. Here, I don't think he gave any money. I think he just told him, I'm going to come, so I'm going to come buy from you. I gave, gave, Ooh, that or same gave, thing. Letter, or gave him a letter of intent. I plan on buying. I think he just gave a verbal, a verbal commitment. Right? But in the first case, I think he gave him, he gave him, he, he gave he, him money. What? Well, maybe he's committing. I'm committing to buying from you. Right. No. 
Yeah, but I, I, it's a little different than the first case. That's what I think. No, the same thing. He gave money to three, two, three people, and then he meets one that of was, them in the street. That was by the farmer. Here, here it doesn't say that. Are you are you saying that that's unwritten? That that's what it's talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I didn't. I, I'm a very straight by the book guy. If it don't say it, then then I don't think it. So I, I don't know. I talking guess... about that specific point of going going to him. He doesn't have to go to the farm. If oh, he you're saying him, meeting, meeting? Oh, you mean it's a? Oh, I think oh, you're hundred percent right. Oh, you're hundred percent right. I didn't have that. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Meaning, I was thinking it was a different case. You meet a guy in the street and you say, "I'm coming." No, you're saying this is meaning you don't have to go to the farm. You just meet him by the davening and say, by the way, you know, I put out a few bids. I'm taking your bid or whatever. I'm going. That, that's what you say. Okay, good. I, so I was reading too much into it. <laughs> Here it is. I thought I'm, I'm not there. Uh, yeah, okay, very good. Very good. Um, okay, let's do it till the next two dots. Amram Nachman. Klala de Revisa. Here's some rules of ribis. Kol agar natar le aser. Oh, that's another big rule of ribis, right? Something called agar natar, which means that you're, uh, uh, natar means to watch from nature karta. I shouldn't bring that, that, that name up, but nature from this word watch, right? And agar means to be paid. You're being paid to watch. That's something called, that's a, uh, that's ribis. That's exactly what they, they're doing. They're getting paid to be mamzeru. That's what they're <laughs> getting paid. Exactly. Yeah, somebody's paying them, you're saying. Somebody's yep. paying them. Yeah, yeah. There's always money behind it. So agar natar is a, is a similar to what we've been saying the whole night. You're, that's an advanced, it's an advanced, what do you call it? A prepay. Right? So it could be in a number of ways. He prepays, and then if the price goes up, he gets it at the old price, right? So that that could be, right? Or or a or a price a price decrease for prepaying, and then the, the big one, the one that comes up a lot, is a, a late payment charge, right? A late payment charge is really not tosh it, right? Because let's say I tell a guy you got to pay me up for your esrig by by Rosh Hashanah, you don't you don't pay me by Rosh Hashanah. Yeah, I'm adding ten bucks. I. Right? So basically, what happened here is that the the seller lent the guy a hundred bucks because he gave him his esrig and he didn't pay for it yet, and then he's forcing him to he's forcing him to pay back uh, more money for the loan, right? The truth, when you think about it, it mamish sounds like ribis. I mean, that's exactly what the Gemara is saying. So the question is, how do you ever fit in a late payment charge to things? Why I don't can't know. Why can't you say that the price is hundred twenty, and if you pay it early, it's a hundred? No, that's also. I mean, if you have but to fit what it I'm in, saying it's a knas. No, a knas. A kna, I, I, again, I didn't. I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough. Knas and knas uh, are simple for other reasons. Kanas might not be so simple because of a smas that we got bound. Correct. That's not a simple thing. You have to write that into the contract. That you basically right. have to ignore the idea of a smas. Right. I mean, late payment charge. I mean, if you don't pay your uh, your bill, and they say late payment charge three percent, then it's not so simple. You say. Exactly. Nah, it's, 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 I, I got it. It's, it's not simple I, I at all. By, I was by the business hall of the conference, and he was speaking about a contractor that had late, late uh, penalties if he didn't finish the project on time. And there were four Yidin that had deals with him, and three of them had into, written into their contracts that ignore the idea of a smachda, and they got paid for the penalties. And the fourth one didn't write it into his contract. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? What, what, what happened again? That they what? Four people had to deal with his contractor in terms of a building, whatever, building a building, whatever it was. And there were late penalties. If he didn't build it by a certain time, he had to pay penalties to them. And three of them wrote into their contract that you ignore the idea of a smacht of Balma and, and in order so that we could get paid for these penalties. And the fourth one did not do it, Kalacha, and he couldn't get paid. The penalties. Wow. 
Yeah, it's 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 really, it's not a push of the thing at all. This whole thing. I believe now that I'll look tomorrow, Rabbi Rising's book and try and bring up some practical uh, cases. But anyway, so that's the first one. Agar Natar is also Vamar Rab Nachman in another case. Haiman the Yav Zuzi Lakira, a guy's giving money for a uh, he's a wax a uh, wax salesman, so he's giving him a zuz for wax because Osli Dalid Dalid, and the price for wax is four. Um, four pieces of wax for uh, Zuz, right? The Amr lay, and he said to him, Yehivna lach, hey, hey, pay me now, and I'll give you five. I mean, the same thing. He okay? says, give me advance money, I'll give you an extra one. It's the Yaakov. That's so like if, your case of, of the, the the you know, if you pay if you pay earlier, you'll get it cheaper. Right, exa- well, exactly. So now that's what the Gemara says in the next line. Isnu gabe. Like we said on this summit, if the guy, ha- if the seller has the thing there, right? So then it's shari, it's mutter, less nugabe. But if he doesn't have it by him, then it is also less nugabe. It's also right. So says pshita. We we just spent a whole a whole daf saying that. Like this is like this. He doesn't actually have using our example of esr. He doesn't actually have the esrog. I mean, he's taking prepayment for the esrog. He says, I don't have the esrog, but I paid for the esrogim. It's coming on the ship, right? You've heard that one before. We all heard that thing. I'm telling you, pay me for the esrog now at Alulav. It's coming on the ship. Next shipment, you're going to get the open box or whatever. You're going to be the first one to get it, you know, in and ahead, right? So they're saying, we're talking about where he paid, the guy, Lamaisa, paid for the esrogim, but he hasn't actually received it. Mauda say, Makima de Isle, Ashroi Bamasa, since he has. Um, since he has the orders in the town, meaning the guy says to him, it's here, it's in the, it's by the loading dock. You just have to get it over to you. It's like, it's like what we said in uh, in Hazov, and it's a Mishnah later, that it's, if it's this borrowing money when you say, I just need to borrow money till, or if sub is sub. We said sub is sub doesn't apply when you say, you know, I do have the, I have the, you lend your neighbor the flower. So you're allowed to do it if the neighbor says, I have flour in my house, just my kid has the car. Right? So it's in the car. It's something like that. Oh yeah, Chem some or I can't find my keys. So give me, so give me the lend me the eggs or the flour. That's okay. Right? Kamash Malon, Kima the Mechasri Gavana. No, since he's missing of the collection, Kaman the less new dummy, it's as if he doesn't have it, and therefore it would be ribis. Um yeah, okay, that, those are the first two big rules of ribbis. And then we have the third one, which is a whole nother sugi. So so we'll stop over here. It's later already, so we'll stop over there. But again, the two main rules is agar natar is one, and meaning meaning you're getting paid for delaying or or, or making it early. And then the second one is is that you're you're giving it to him for a cheaper price. What are they, they're basically that's essentially the same same you said. Okay, stop here. Tell them. Uh, pay Gimel. Pay Gimel.